This is the fifth year that we're celebrating History Day here in Coney Island. But there are people who have been dedicating their entire lives to the history of Coney Island. Whether it's the Vidaris family and Dino's Wonder Wheel, or people like Charlie Denton who's committed himself to preserving the history of Coney Island. The beauty of the history of Coney Island, though, is it's never ending. If you look back 95 years ago, when the Wonder Wheel first opened, there was an amusement arena here in some way, shape, or form. There was a beachside community. There were people who lived, there were people who lived here all year round. And over the almost 100 years since that Wonder Wheel was first opened, Coney Island has changed for the good, for the bad, for the ugly, and the beautiful all again. It's constantly changing. 10 years ago when I got elected to represent this district, I remember coming here for the 85th anniversary of the Wonder Wheel. I was a little younger and not quite as, um, what is the word now? What, what's the word you have when, you have when you're afraid of heights? Whatever the hell it is. I didn't suffer from that height fear as much as I do now. So I went up on the Wonder Wheel and I wound up on the floor of the car by the end of the ride. <laughs> so I will tell you, I'm here to celebrate in spirit. I'm not going back up on that thing. But for those of you who have the courage, take a ride. It is beautiful. When you're up there on the top and you can look out and you can see the New York City skyline, you can see Staten Island, you can see Jersey, you can see everything from up there. It is really, truly a wonder wheel. There are so many parts of Coney Island though that every one of us has a fond memory from our childhood. But the beauty of Coney Island is we're making more memories every day because of the commitment of people like the Vidaris family, like the Zamperlas, like Nathan's, like Paul's daughter, the people who didn't abandon, Ruby's, the people who didn't abandon Coney Island when times were hard, and the people who did not abandon Coney Island after Sandy. They stuck it out, they continued to rebuild, and what we have now is a, a a, a new chapter in the history of Coney Island. And believe me when I tell you, there is more to come. There's gonna be more housing built here right on the boardwalk. There's gonna be more retail right up here on the boardwalk. We're determined, Council Member uh, Traeger and myself and others to make Coney Island a year-round community, not just in the summertime, not just when the weather is nice, but all year round. And that will be the next chapter in the history of Coney Island. Thank you.